Hello my wonderful ravens, welcome back to my channel, my name is Chantelle and today I am going to open this very shiny parcel with you. This is a parcel from Stakiwi Colors. These are watercolors I ordered from New Zealand and these watercolors are made by Stacy, who owns Stakiwi Colors. So this arrived today, it's been traveling for a month. Also I kept adding to my order because you know Instagram and stuff. <gasps> no more cute rainbows. Let's start with this one first. I received colors for the Kiwi Color Club before. I will review them in this video as well. However, I've already played with them and they're in my watercolor set. So uh, these are some colors that were still due to be sent to me. So we've got a cool granulating gray, a deep emerald green with hints of yellow undertone and a purple with underlying carmine and ultramarine, ultramarine hues. So that's these three. That's from the Stuff Kiwi Color Club. I don't know if she's gonna do it again in the future. I know that she's really, really busy at the moment. So um, keep an eye out on her Instagram. And this is a rather big order. So let's have a look. No, oh, it's a little kitty cat saying good night. Some dot cards, thank you. Some cute little stickers. Her business card, if you're interested. Dearest Chantel, I am so, so thankful for your continued support of Handmade Love. I hope you enjoy your new colors. Love, Stacy. Caput Mortem is a strong pigmentation, hematite and carmine, prone to shrinkage, but it's normal lake-based. Okay. I know this is the case with most handmade colors anyway, so, but good to know. Let's have a look at these ones first. We have a burnt umber, a lime, a lem yellow lemon, and moonlight let's have a look at these i think this is my sixth set the no yes i think this is my sixth set that is a specific set that you can order and that is put together by an artist the colors are put together by an artist not stacy but someone else can't remember her name at the moment There's those. This one. Why does this one doesn't have a color? I don't know which color that is. Oh no. <laughs> so we've got four. 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <laughs> Oops. Anyway. I'm going to open these all. So this is the autumn set. That's what it's called. The autumn set. So I did save the previous notes that I got for the Stuckiwi Color Club. And her colors are right there. Yes, this is my handmade paints paint box. Um, I had it set up a little bit differently, so it's a bit scruffy still. Um, I glued these dividers in so I can just, you know, have all the colors neatly displayed. They can still move around and I can still take them out if I want to. Um, but I've left some space for Stacy's colors because these are 20 paints. 20 colors and then I've got another 10 coming so <laughs> yeah I'll do another unboxing for that so as I go I will probably put them in here and then I will swatch them so these colors I just wanted to go through those are uh, transparent green that's green leaf poolside a vibrant and cool transparent blue and air 
Ercolano Orange, a gentle earthy orange. And then the other one is, I don't know which one, because they're all pretty dark in the pans, which is normal. Lush Maroon, which is this one. Deep Night, which is this one. So this one is a red violet hue and a lake pigment. This one is Deep Night, is a fabulous a dark hue. Um, I think it's just a very dark gray. Wonderful for night skies, shadows, that kind of stuff. And this one is a Prussian green. So I'm going to be adding all the other stuff to this and then I'll swatch them all for you. So let's, uh, let's unpack. This is blue velvet, but just look how beautiful that sheen is. Anyone who knows watercolors knows that this is really, really nice. This is the slate. This is Ponamu. Ponamu? Ponamu. Emerald green. Also just gorgeous. And they smell nice because it's got clove oil. So this is the autumn set. Very muted, beautiful colors. This is Grove. Mist. Shadows. Ambience. Indigo Fira. Fallen. Mm, they smell gorgeous. So, so good. I'm going to unwrap these all off camera and then we're gonna do some swatching. So I've rearranged my paints. I've got my paper, I've got my artist cups, um, water cups. This one I got at my local uh, hardware store and garden center Bunnings. And this one was made by Caitlin Bongers and she is a pottery or a ceramicist from the Netherlands. And you can find the information down below i will leave her um i will leave her details pan down below so this is handmade pottery with a brush holder and basically put your brush on there which is great i have a brush here by j burrows which is a brand by office works i think and a camelot by dynasty so I'm going to wet my brushes and leave them on my cup. It actually holds two, which is great. And the paper that I'm using is a Strathmore visual journal. It is a mixed media journal, which is also made for watercolors. So I'm going to use this one. I just hate the finish of this. I don't know why they don't leave it blank or craft. Just absolutely do not like it. So it actually says here what you can use in here. Uh, watercolor, it says two dots. So it is possible. It says very good, so. Now my watercolors are here. And I'll tell you who they are all from. So today I'm going to be testing the ones by Stakiwi Colors. The top ones are from KMS Watercolors. They are okay, would not buy again. They are a little bit on the chalky side. These ones, all the shimmer ones, up to this one, are from Shimmer Drops Paint in, I think they are in, they are in Melbourne. They're definitely in Australia. These are fantastic shimmers. Would not buy anywhere else, or maybe from Stakiwi, Stacy. This one, all the way up to this one, is the ones that we're gonna test today. Um, so these are from the Stakiwi Color Club and also from just her normal colors that she offers in her shop. These are by Studio Creative Clouds and for, that's Cindy. And these are also the same standard as Stacy's colors. Really, really beautiful colors. Then we have these colors these one two three four five six and these are by violet connie art these are handmade paints as well but connie does not make handmade paints anymore these are also the same standard as these ones then we have this one up onto that one and these are by i have to i have to sneak now quartz creations quartz paints and they are on etsy in the uk and and these are in the netherlands by the way and these are mainly based on minerals 
Some are not, but most of them are based on hematite. These are also by KMS colors, same as the little round ones. I keep them because they're handmade and they're not too bad, but again, they're very chalky. You can see that they have no sheen at all and they're very, very matte. So yeah, I'm not too happy about their paints, but I'm gonna keep them because they were expensive and eventually I'll probably paint something with them. I probably wouldn't use them in finished pieces ever. But yeah, let's just, uh, let's just keep that there. Anyway, I'm going to do some painting for you all now and uh, let's start which, with what we should start with and that is wetting the paints. This bottle just has normal water in it, normal tap water. 26 colors. Okay, I'm just gonna make a grid and then I'm going to swatch. So I made a little swatch card and what I've done is the one with one star are part of the autumn set. I believe at this point it's not available on the website but keep an eye on her Instagram because that's where she do, does all the her updates. And with two stars is the ones that are received by me through the Kiwi Color Club. And I don't know if they will be available on her website eventually, or if it was just for this color club thing. Let's uh, start some swatches, shall we? As you can see, gorgeous colors, um, some bright, some dark, some go from dark to quite light, obviously when you desaturate the color with water. Um, just gorgeous, look at that fallen and the blue, blue velvet, it's just granulating so much, it's so pretty and the Prussian green, Ooh, um, I'll be back when it's all dry and then we're gonna paint something. I grabbed some clean water and I have this drawing that I've never finished but I thought because I have so many greens and beautiful purples I think this is the perfect drawing to go with these paints. So I'm just gonna erase it with my needleball eraser and then I will color it in and i will speed this process up for you all i know some of you like to watch it but most of you like just to speed drawing of this that's what we're gonna do um this is a <laughs> what is it it's a galaxy frog i suppose she has galaxy hair but probably gonna make it purple the frog green obviously and then i might use that beautiful beautiful dark blue what was it 
shadows or indigo vera so what stacy told me is that shadows is a synthetic indigo and indigo vera or thera with a th th is a botanical indigo indigo botanical indigo from india so they are different and here i was just playing around with some colors i'm going to paint this little lady frog thing whatever it is let's uh, start with her skin shall we Here she is. I'm really happy with how she turned out. She's a bit different, but um, I still like her. And uh, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of this piece and what you think of these watercolor paints. Are you gonna check them out as well? For now, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.